two doors in front of him. One red, one blue. Mr. Anderson. Alright guys, how you doing? My name's Sai, it's South Force Gaming, welcome to the channel. My god, so, last time on SCP, we did an epic thing, she was some sort of witch child, and she had telekinesis, and it was crazy, we had to get it under control, we had to go into a mind from my mind, and solve things and make her less stressed so she should destroy the world. Um, and then, at the end of that episode, we got out of the seat and went into an elevator, into a special room, we never left the office yet, so it's the first time leaving the office. So we're going to continue from that point and um, see what the hell's going on now. So we're playing as a guy called Carl Astrana or Astana, and I work at the SCP facility, and I've been there for a few months now, even though I've done like four or five missions. So let's go have a look. So it started me in the lift. Okay, this is good. So we've got to enter the room and wait for the work notification. I think this is the room. Oh, yeah. Hello? You'll have to follow my instructions. Do exactly as I say. There's Mysterious woman. Card on the desk. Take it and exit through the door on the other side. The passcode is 0426. Find room B426 and run the program on the computer. Okay, let's collect this card. Patient person, Kate Lawrence, Sophie Mar, Sebastian Shaw. And we've got the employee car now. Boy name me. Oh, it's level three. Okay. Okay, so let's use our new access card now. Uh oh. Um. Oh, zero four two six. Got it. That's word correct. Uh, B426 is what we're looking for. B426 on the left here. I don't know what we're supposed to find or what we're supposed to be going on. But we'll find out, I guess. Okay, ominous. Right, we've got four cameras watching me. Um... So, SCP computer, um, employee login. Okay, so, use lid, object class, confidentiality level three. What is this, a monster? All non level D staff. All non level D staff, governor's manual have had their identities obscured. The events recorded in this manual can be accessed via the digital library. Uh, level 3 authorization required. That's what we've got. Uh, use of this manual is covered by the confidentiality clause. Any staff found in breach of the clause will be subject to immediate demotion. Okay. SCP-426. Safety instructions. Interesting. How could this be? Experimental log 426, test subject D081. Test subject D081, named Jason Grias, is uh, 28 years old, black male, in good health, with no history of mental illness. He was sentenced to life imprisonment for murder. Uh, nicknamed Chimney, his psychological condition was normal before he entered sight. Whatever. However, he developed negative and pessimistic uh, tendencies while in prison, along with severe symptoms of nicotine addiction. I guess that's why they call him the Chimney. Uh, physical examination records show that D081 did not acquire any physical disabilities. Okie dokie. So, experiment log 4261. So, is he the SCP? Uh, jaded, skeptical, and exhausted. Life and living are tough when being awake and sleep are no longer regular. Man, I hate that they type it out like this. 
Only a number of cigarettes left can give me a general sense of time. Only smoking can get me out of bed. Uh Got the cigarette pack. One small single bed, but cozier than the one in jail. They didn't even provide a mirror, but I don't need to see my face. At least you're still alive. That's right, man. I've been paying attention, you know, I can feel your life energy. What? Not just yours, but all lives. The transition that happen. Making the most of life transitions is a beautiful thing and they exist in abundance here. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? They always lead to unknown opportunities where everything is uncertain. I can see the man-made chaos distorted by another force that can be called life. Oh, that can't be called life. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> anyway, at least you're still alive. Yeah, what a great ending. Right, I was, I was having a poopy, mate. So, if you don't mind. Uh, time for your task. I'm on the toilet, legit. Let me finish your cigarette. God. <laughs> not, not impressed. Come on, give me a break. It was following orders, don't I? I can't even smoke anymore. Hurry up. Damn it. Okay. Right, we've got into a lift. This is weird, man. Uh, get ready. Uh, I get it. Security check. What can you detect in this thing anyway? No weapons, no metal, no smoking in the observation room. No smoking, you have something against me, huh? Show hands. And take my cigarettes off me. Hello, boys. Uh, Dr. Havel, D081. I can hear you. What do you want me to do this time? There's a room on the bottom floor. Your task is to enter the room and observe the object on the table. Come back and report your findings once you've completed the observation. Do you understand? Alright. SCP Foundation is full of fucking freaks. Right. Decontamination. Jesus, I'll never get used to this. They can't make something less gross. This painting is called Los Angeles at 4 a.m. Interesting. Well, the camera's moving to watch me as well. This is a poster of an opera. These freaks watch opera. Are you kidding me? Yo, Dr. Hello, can you hear me? There's nothing wrong, right? Um, well, we got a machine. Looks like what I need to observe is in here. What the hell is this? Well, it's obviously a toaster, but given where we are... We've got something to solve. I'll have a cigarette first. Where are my cigarettes? Ha! Ah. I never guess where I hid my cigarettes. Up his bum bum. <laughs> Damn, that's good. D zero on return to the lab and report it to the doctor. You can start reporting. Well, on the table, I'm a toaster. I'm about seven inches wide and six inches tall, and I'm made of stainless steel. Anything else? What else? I'm not sure what else you want me to say. Anything else? I'm not sure what else you want me to say. I'm a toaster, put bread in my slot and I'll make a perfect fucking piece of toast. Good, you can go back to your room now. Good. What did I just say? He said I am a toaster, which is a bit weird. Not that there was a toaster on the table. He... Right, mate, you come to escort me. Hey, Chimney, there's something different. Some wonderful smell on you. What is it? I sense it now. You're going to experience a new life, a different kind of existence. Shit, that sounds fucked up, man. You've changed. You are no longer bound by limitations. There's no beginning and no end, only chaos. Can you sure? 
Is this the end of life? I don't know. Maybe you're evolving. Why well, am I even trying to understand what you're saying? You're feeling different now, right? I do feel strange. I think I'm just tired. Life needs motivation. Maybe you just need a cigarette. A cigarette? No, no, no. I don't need a cigarette. I need to charge up. Because I am... A toaster. I'm a toaster. I need to be plugged in to start working. Wow. I'm a toaster. Oh, he said... I am a toaster and he became a toaster. It feels so good. What was I doing? I need to charge. Yes, yes. I gotta charge myself up. Because they'd have plugs in the prison cell. D damn, there's no plug. I mean, it's there. They gave me all the cigarettes, but no plug. Maybe I can smoke one myself. I can make one myself. Make a plug. Water, water is not good. Got a piece of cloth. Got a piece of iron pipe. I need to figure out how to make a plug. Ah, choose two. So I'm thinking... Um... God, this is it. I can't wait to charge up. A person again. Test report. T081 observed SCP-426 closely for about 30 minutes. <laughs> Join questioning. He could only provide a first... Sorry guys, the text is so slow. But, uh, description of the SCP-426. D081 returned to his cell and began experiencing hallucinations, believing that he was a toaster. SCP-426 D-081 uh, died of electrocution after plugging in a self-made metal object into a socket because he felt that he required charging. Well, that was silly. The subject D082 named Dorothy Wilson is a 65-year-old white female with no history of mental illness. D082's uh, psychological evaluation results were unknown when she entered site. Blah, blah. The analysis shows that she is mentally strong and resistant to interrogation. She has called several cellmates to commit suicide and several guards to betray the something prison inst uh, institution institution oh my god i did a, a brain fart d082 was diagnosed with uh, uh lymphoma cancer before she was recruited by the foundation she was cleared for testing after we confirmed that her uh lymphoma cancer could not affect her scp426 test so miss wilson miss wilson so I'm now a 65 year old white female. What happened dear? I fell asleep. I'm sorry, maybe I misheard what you were shouting. Oh, how rude of me. What was I yelling about? Every time I fall asleep, I think I'll never wake up again. You were yelling, bread, give me bread. I dreamt about my children. Whenever I think of them, it fills me with regret for what I did. Uh oh. Seven months ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. Oh my god, I'm sorry to hear that, Miss Wilson. Uh, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. I came here on my own free will, you know. Uh, I think of this kind of redemption. Oh, sorry, we can't uh, chat anymore. I can tell you more about my children next time. People should take care of how they look, even when they're old. I wish everyone thinks like this. Maybe I should return the stolen access card under the pillow. Uh. Hello. D082, so time for your task. Hello, young man. You don't look very happy today. What happened? Nothing. I'm not going back to that empty room for another day, am I? Nothing. I know I couldn't complain. 
uh, but it's awfully boring. Don't mind me nagging, you know, I don't have much time left. <laughs> He's like a sweet old lady, but maybe killed her children, so let's not um, jump to conclusions. Can we sort these? That guard might whack me, I'm having a little feeling. Okay, off we go. This is weird. You never know what you're going to get with this game next. It's insane. Prepare for security check. You're always scanning. You don't trust me. Alright, it seems like you don't want to talk today. Okay, the doctor, I guess. Oh, good morning, Dr. H. These are 082. My dear, you can call me Dotty. You'll be in the most room today. Uh, the task will observe the object on the table, then come back here to report your findings. You really should be more clear about these tasks. This one sounds simple enough. I might not be able to stand for too long. Oh my, what a terrible smell. She looks like the dude off uh, Up, you know, the Disney movie where they put loads of... Uh, why don't they use a nice lavender scent? Where they tie balloons to a house. Los Angeles at 4am, why does this painting remind me of basketball? This show looks interesting, I probably won't get a chance to see it though. I better hurry along. This looks familiar. I'm sure the empty room I was in before is just next door. So, yeah, we do have to press this button. It's going to try and not, but... I remember I need to observe. Yes, just observe. So I guess I have to go up and do it, but... Oh, this is my uh, tinnitus flaring up. Or did I just hear something wonderful? Why does that sound like that party rocking anthem thing? Uh, you can start your report. To be honest, I'm not sure this is what you need, dear. Start your report. Well, I'm a toaster. <laughs> About this wide and this high. Oh, my youngest daughter uses the same model as me. Oh, I'm teal green. I think I look good in this colour. Yes, yes, I like this coat of paint. I think I can still work. Hmm, what else? That's all I can say. Sorry, I'm not as observant as I used to be. Good, you can go back to your room now. Thank you, I'm glad to hear that. You're too late, mate. Could have already escaped. No, I am. Um... No admission here, man. Please don't get in the way of our work. Hey, Miss Wilson. How are you feeling? I don't know. I mean, how do you feel after that task? Oh, I feel not too bad. Yes, I feel like I'm good. That's great, Miss Wilson. To be honest, I was a little worried. I thought, I feel good. I feel great. Yes, wonderful. I have to do something. What do you mean you have to do something? Miss Wilson? Miss Wilson? You know what? There's a little voice in my head. I think it's time for me to fulfill my duty. I'm a toaster, time to get to work. Insane, man. Oh, uh, she's turned it. Oh, this is legit a piece of bread there. There's not enough bread to toast. Found the stolen access card. Can I get out? Uh, work, bread, bread, bread. I can toast any kind of bread there is. Like, eat herself to death. Can't go out there. Bread, bread, work, work. Why is this flashing? Broken bulb. This is not enough. I can toast more. No problem for me. I'm the best model ever made. 
Oh, the door opened. This is so mental. Work, work, more bread, more bread. She's gonna die. Or do anything else. She getting fatter? She's gonna explode? Oh, why is this bread taking so long to toast? She got diabetes. Um, so. Test subject here. Name Dorothy Wilson, 65 year old white female. We read all that bit. Observe the object closely for uh, whatever minutes. Five minutes later, she could provide a first person description of SCP 426 D082 began to develop hallucinations 50 minutes after returning to her cell. She believed that she was a toaster. SCP 426 and that she needed to toast bread. She died of internal bleeding due to acute gastric dilation. The autopsy found 16 kilograms of undigested bread in her. 16 kilograms. Surely you wouldn't just be sick or something, man. 16 kilograms is a lot of bread. Alright, we've got a new guy to turn into a toaster. Um, experiment log 4266, test subject D083, test 420 something. Yeah, 420. Description, test subject D083, name Adam Moria. He's a 38 year old white male with no history of mental illness. He was sentenced to life imprisonment for murder. His psychological evaluation showed that he had irritable, violent and manic tendencies before entering sight, blah, blah. D083 yelled, I'm a toaster. My insides need to be cleaned after coming into contact with the SCP-426 so many times. He then swallowed 550 milliliters of dishwashing liquid and fell into a coma. It's uncertain at this time whether the effects of SCP-426 are still active. Observation is still underway. Okay. You want a little clean? <laughs> Damn it. Fuck. Fuck all of you. All right, I'm awake. You're awake, get yourself ready for the lab. Come out of a coma, get to work, boy. What the hell am I doing here? What did you do to me? No one has done anything to you. Ah, that's convincing. You think I'm a fucking idiot? After the task, you drank industrial strength dishwashing liquid. So, yeah, that answer your question? Ha, ah, what the hell are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, I'll kick your goddamn ass. What are you? What? What are you? I'm your fucking grandpa, that's uh, what I am, and I'm gonna knock out your teeth one by fucking one. Uh, come out and get ready for the lab. Bloody Bronson here. Damn, why am I dizzy? I don't feel alright. It feels like part of my brain is missing, like... Like I'm... I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. Alright. He's now got his own little happy song as well. Do, 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 do. It's the happy toaster song. What are you? Feeling dizzy with a headache? I'm a good toaster. Fuck, my head hurts. Where am I? I should be. I've been so confused lately. Let's see what Doc says. D083. Hey, you old fucker. Do you remember what you did after the last attack? Oh, sorry. Um, are you willing to observe? Uh, are you willing to observe the test subject? Listen here, I ain't gonna do shit no more. Just kill me now. Fuck, man, it's gonna explode. Shit. God, send the 083 back to his room for observation. Yes, Doctor. Damn it, I've had enough, you old fucker. Fight. Fight. Oh. I've been returned to my living quarters. 
What's wrong with me? I shouldn't be like this. I should be. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. Do you have anything to report? Come on, man. I'm broken. Broken? The doctor wants to know how you're feeling. I'm definitely broken. I don't think I can toast any more bread. Bread? Do you have a screwdriver? There's something seriously wrong with me. Do you need to get... Uh, go to the clinic. Open the door. I need to be fixed. Oh, my God. Bread. Oh, my God. It's the guard. I tried to toast this bread. That way, uh, I'll know if I'm really broken. There's something wrong with me. I killed the guard. Oh, can I get three now? I want to get in that room. They're all freaking out. All right, I tell you what, I'm taking out some serious garbage. Let's go, boys. Killed about 10 guards. Stop everything now. We we can kill you now. I'm broken. What are you? I'm I'm not a good baby bear toaster. I can't toast anymore. But yes, I can fix I myself. I am a toaster. I hate that. He cut himself open with a flathead screwdriver and died. Well, okay. After the previous observation, the experiment was interrupted. D083 claimed that he was a baby bear toaster and suffered from internal damage. He requested repairs on the way to the clinic. D083 behaved aggressively and attacked the guard with a lethal weapon. He cut open his abdomen and claimed there were breadcrumbs jammed inside. D083 eventually died of excessive bleeding. I am SCP-426, objective class, uh, special containment procedures. I have to be locked in a room without any windows so that nobody can see me. The door to my room must be labelled without my ID number and personal, de and personal details. Um, to prevent the spread of my symptoms. Only staff at level 3 and above are aware of my existence and particularly of my properties. Description. Hello, I am SCP-426. I must be introduced this way in order to prevent uh, ambiguity. Uh, I am an ordinary toaster able to toast bread when supplied with electricity. However, when any human mentions me, they inadvertently refer to me in the first person. Despite all attempts, there is yet to be a way to speak or write about me in the third person. So, the toaster is talking to me now through the computer. After conducting several tests with the level D prisoners, the Foundation has determined SCP-426 causes severe mental harm to humans. It has henceforth been defined as an info hazard. Thank you for reading the SCP-426 safety manual. Secure container, pro uh, secure contain protect. What a weird one. I am a toaster. Alright. Hello? Carl, next comes the final choice. What? There are two doors in front of you. One red, one blue. Mr. Anderson. Interesting. You go through the blue door. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Leave. Or stay. The choice is your own. Neo. Right, Mr. Anderson. We're going to stay. Because you can't become amazing. Okay, show me this rabbit hole. This is 
my new office. Hello? Good job, Carl. I'm glad you made it through. Have you ever felt like there were memories in your head and things you never experienced? Whispers of people you never met? These were not hallucinations. They're your actual memories. Carl, you are not a rookie at all. You are a member of Mega 5. You always have been. What? My name is Marion Wheeler, captain of Mega 5. Welcome back, Gardner Carl. Now, we need to talk about 55. What? I'm a superhero? Who am I? SCP Secret Files. I'm going back up the lift. Is that it for now? Chose the blue door after completing SCP-426. Oh, we've done, man. Damn, I guess I'll update it with more stories, but... That was a cool game. That was a cool playthrough. I liked it. Especially that blue door, red door, matrix thing at the end. But obviously, they've got more of the story because... I'm Carl the Gardener, apparently. I'm part of the Mega Five. Weird. Alright, we are absolutely donezo with this, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Thoughts and feelings down below what you thought of this series. So many different graphics, different ways to play the game. It's been pretty sick and really good storytelling. I've enjoyed it. Um, yeah, thanks, guys. Catch you next one. Peace.